Hello and welcome to uh, Rim Atomic's reactor guide. Once you install the mod, you will not be able to build an actual reactor. Uh, instead, you will be able to build a research bench, and via that research bench, you can step by step unlock various parts of the reactor and other technologies. This makes it a bit tricky to figure out what the uh, layout ultimately looks like and which components are involved. Uh, when you start out, you will also not be able to build uh, this reactor. Uh, the first one you unlock is an earlier stage, so it will look a little bit different. It will also be smaller. Uh, the same goes for this turbine there, but the uh, concept is the same. Yeah, it will, of course, at the center have your actual nuclear reactor. And this one, to produce power, needs to be connected to at least one turbine. And this connection is made with a cold water pipe and a steam pipe. You only need one of those connections, uh, though I think it's good practice to make uh, two for the sake of redundancy, so that if some mortar shell comes in, uh, it cannot just take out your entire power setup. And in this case I have two reactors, uh, or two turbines, um, which is optional, you can make as many turbines connected as you want. To the reactor, you also need to have your reactor console connected, and this is connected with the console loom wire. Via this uh, panel, you can uh, manage the reactor, you can see its uh, current status, and you can adjust the power output. It's also where you start and stop your reactor. So it's currently producing how much? Uh, yeah, 228,000 power. Uh, good luck doing that with some solar panels. All right, so we have our reactor, we have our management console, uh, we have uh, these turbines. Then to actually produce power or to connect it to your power grid, uh, you cannot just connect the turbines directly to the power grid. Uh, instead, you need a high voltage transformer and you connect that to the turbine with a high voltage cable and then uh, you connect the transformer to your power grid. You can have uh, multiple transformers and you can uh, specify the power limit on those to balance uh, where the power goes. Uh, and that way you can have multiple power grids that are getting different amounts of power. So in this case we have a 10 kilowatt limit and a 200 kilowatt limit. So 20 out of 21 of the power, so most of the power is going to my main grid. Uh, which is the one connected to these bottom transformers. And then uh, we have uh, a, a dedicated grid here uh, that goes around the reactor and over here. Um, and this is because the reactor itself, it needs power. The same uh, is, goes for the management console and for the turbines and also for the cooling system. Uh, and you want to be very careful that your reactor setup has the power that it needs. Um, so the components work and in case of a solar flare or something similar you want to have some energy storage so you can uh, restart it afterwards if you do not have other energy production facilities. So the, the final component here that we haven't gotten to yet is the cooling system. Uh, the turbines need to be connected to cooling. There's uh, several options to make uh, cooling. Uh, so here we have the, the cooling towers. There's uh, two other options. There's uh, this water cooling thing uh, for which you need to have a pond of water or a river. And then there's the radiators as well. Uh, in this setup, I went with the cooling towers and you connect those to your turbines with uh, coolant pipes. And again, it is nice to make more than one pipe so we have some amount of redundancy. Uh, then here in the power grid, uh, these things are uh, capacitors, and these are essentially large batteries with 10 times the storage of a normal battery. And uh, these four here in the middle are connected just to the, the grid of the reactor itself, so that if uh, I shut down the reactor, uh, then I can still restart it, even if the batteries of my main grid uh, run out of power which tends to happen quite quickly in this base because it's drawing uh, an immense amount of power because I am playing with the um, vanilla expanded factions mechanoids mod 
which allows you to build factories, which consume quite a bit of power. And these factories, together with the mechanoids that you can uh, build from this mod, uh, also produce or charge uh, need quite a bit of power to charge. And all these things together draw about 100,000 power, which is uh, quite difficult to achieve with non-brim atomic sources. So here I'll uh, shoot down the reactor, which you do via the scram button in the console. And then it will take a while before it's actually completely shut down. And this is uh, a thing that will happen automatically if there is a solar flare. And you can also do it, or you need to do it, if you want to insert more uh, reactor rods, which your pawn needs to then bring to the reactor. And they can only do this uh, once it's fully off, uh, which is when the temperature reaches zero. And you can get these rods uh, via a trader that you can call uh, via the research bench. Or if you're impatient, you can just spawn them via the debugger menu, of course. Um, and this is a requirement to fill the reactor with at least one rod before you can start it. So using the, the factory and the buildable uh, mechanoids, uh, that's like one approach uh, to use up all the power. Another is one that's provided by the Rim Atomics mod itself in the form of uh, various weapons. Uh, one of them, the, the coolest one being the obelisk. So here we have five obelisks and these are solid state lasers to vaporize those pesky tribal raiders. And uh, they use uh, 1000 to 1 days of power per shot, which means that uh, to fire one shot of uh, these five uh, guns, you need to have a geothermal running for what? For uh, almost two days uh, and store that power in batteries. And then if the batteries are perfectly efficient, you will be able to do like exactly one shot. Uh, these things here are radiation detectors, which are nice to place around your reactor to detect anything going wrong. And uh, this is uh, um, a gun that shoots down martyrs, provided by Rheumatomex also, which is again nice to have around, just in case. And around your reactor, you, if you can afford it, you want to have this uh, depleted uranium wall to contain radiation.